Welcome back to another episode of Real Life Fishing. And I just want to take a minute to say thank you uh, for everyone who subscribed. I really do appreciate that. Uh, and for all the likes and comments and everything else. And uh, if you're watching and you're not subscribed yet, why not? So what are we going to do this episode? This episode, we are going to fix something on the boat. What is it that we're going to fix? That's what we're going to fix. That is super annoying and it's got to go. Uh, I already figured out what the problem is and the solution is to replace the entire seat post assembly and the, uh, the sliding mount that goes on the bottom of this fancy captain's chair here. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, hey, isn't, didn't you just get that boat last fall? Isn't that still under warranty? Um, yeah, it, it might be, but, you know, I, I broke it. Um, I was going under a very, very, very low bridge uh, on one of the musky trips that I didn't think we were going to fit under. Uh, and I reached up and grabbed the edge of the bridge and stopped the boat from moving forward while I was sitting in the seat. Um, and ever since then, it's been a little loose and wobbly. So would a Lumacraft cover it? Maybe. They probably would. But uh, the closest dealer to me is an hour away. They don't stock the post. So I'd have to hitch up the boat, drag it out there, let them look at it, drag it back. They'd order the part. Then I'd have to drag it down there. They'd put the part in and then I'd have to drag it back again. So assuming that they've got some magical parts installation thing that they, I would just pull in the parking lot and turn around and leave right away, right? They wouldn't have to work on anything. We're still talking about four hours in the truck in total to get that done. Uh, and the fuel, I mean, my, my truck gets 11 miles a gallon, so uh, not that great. So between the cost of the fuel and my time, uh, I made the personal decision that it was more advantageous to me to simply fix the stupid seat myself. And fortunate for you guys, you get to watch the video of how to do it. Because uh, I've, I've seen this commented on, uh, I don't know how many times over the past several weeks, as guys are starting to get their boats out. Uh, they're, they're getting them out of storage, but it's not quite fishing weather yet. So they're tinkering with them and whatnot. And, you know, so what, uh, what parts do they need? Or, you know, the, the seat post one has been a pretty common one. Mm. Today is um, Garrison Brothers Cowboy Bourbon. Don't look this up if you're going to complain it's expensive. But if you like it, or if you like expensive and you're a big bourbon fan, check it out. Um, <clears throat> so this seat post here is air ride and slides back and forth and the part number if you want to order it right so this is a springfield uh seat right springfield mainstay this is what the box looks like and the part number if you want to go and hunt it down is one two five zero two five zero L like Lima one. So I'm going to get into it. I'll clip this up and time lapse it and whatever. So you guys don't have to watch me just sit here and play with screw guns and whatever. But uh, yeah. Here we go, six bolts. Um, and if you guys don't have one of these things, I would, uh, I would get one. These are awesome. Uh, Makita brushless screw gun driver uh, with built-in hammer. I'm sure you guys heard that, but uh, yeah, good stuff. Pulled those right out of there. So there's our seat post, All right? And you can see Springfield, so. Here's the replacement unit. Uh, it's just fully collapsed right now. There we go. 
now they look the same. So go ahead and screw this one down. So guys, it's worth noting that the new seat does not include a new set of screws for either the floor mounting or for the bottom of the seat. So be nice to your old screws, don't wreck them. You're gonna have to reuse them. That's not going anywhere. Okay, so now <clears throat> it's on to the seat bottom. Okay, and for this, you can see here, there's four screws that attach the seat bottom to the seat frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of those now. Okay, so we've got that off. I'm just gonna go ahead and screw on the new one. And when you put the new one on, guys, make sure that all of your levers and handles and everything face forward. And that's it, we're done. And there we go, guys. Um, seat's quiet, right? No more rocking around, no more creaking. All fixed the way that it should be. And uh, even without any editing, just raw, I've been out in the garage screwing with this. It's been 18 minutes. So there's no reason that you guys can't do this yourselves. Um, if you've only got hand tools, those bolts holding that original post to the floor, or those screws rather, uh, pretty hard. Uh, with hand tools, you, you might have some issue there, um, but be careful if you use power tools, right? Like I said, you do have to reuse those, and those are not machine screws. They are wood screws. So trying to get that matching thread to reuse those same holes in the floor, just trust me, be nice to the bolts. You'll get them out of there. Just maybe it'll take you a little bit, but uh, again, uh, this is what I used to do it. Um, I'll throw a link to this down on Amazon. Um, I picked up uh, this and the, the companion drill. Um, I, I bought them individually. They do come as part of a kit. I bought them individually because I wanted six amp hour batteries and the, there's no kit that includes that. Uh, but it's pretty slick. Um, you push the button on the back, tells you your battery levels, uh, selectable speed up in the front here, uh, work light. But yeah, I, I really like these. Um, not sponsored by Makita, none of that. I, I just, you know, I'm sure if you guys have watched any of my bait making videos, you've probably seen that old Craftsman that I was using for a while. Um, you know, I decided the time had come that I get into the 21st century with my tools and that's what I got, I really like it. So like I said, I'll, uh, I'll throw a link to that down in the description um, <clears throat> as well as uh, a link to these, this bit set here. Uh, cause this thing is just, yeah, I'll throw a link to this set of bits down in the description too. Um, these are just fantastic. I mean, I've, I've gone through all kinds of different bits, uh, and just the, the, the screwdriver ends, you know, strip out or twist or break, or, I mean, these are, <clears throat> I mean, they're not snap on, but these are super high quality. The box is really nice to store them in. They're easy to get out. They're easy to put away. Uh, you know, and then you've got a spot here for little odds and ends that you want to add, you know, like countersink bits that I've been using, uh, you know, stuff that doesn't quite have a home in there and, you know, but in any event, um, I'm glad that we got the seat taken care of, uh, cause that was super annoying and I didn't want that to scare away the fish this year when we're out, uh, you know, crappy fishing and don't want to be making a whole lot of noise there with that seat. It was very loud. Didn't like it. So. Good, got that taken care of. Uh, now I've still just got to finish putting the bolt back together again um, from the troll control install and the dash graph install. So 
a little bit more work left to do yet, but isn't that how it always goes? Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate it, and we will see you next time.